Hello everybody, Razvan is my name. Welcome back to Gopika 1 Unreal Engine. So we are going to continue and talk with the NPCs that we still have here for before we leave the, the old camp. So the first one and the one in the back is uh, Whistler. We can mess up this quest, so we will have to be careful. Hey you! He is bold, I like him. Hi, I'm new here. What do you want from me? I want to become one of you. I want to join the camp. And or, I want Looking to for people to support you, eh? If you want me to have a word with Diego about you, you need to do me a favor. Only one favor. What kind of favor do you want? I want one of Fisk's weapons. He's one of the traders at the marketplace. He won't sell it to me. It's a broadsword with ornaments. I'll give you 100 ore to collect the weapon for me, but don't tell him about me. Did you ever consider that I might just run off with the ore? Don't forget, the colony is small. If you run off with it's my very ore, small. I'll find you. You will not find me if I'm in orc territory, you know? Why won't he sell the weapon to you anymore? We had a little argument. <laughs> and? And that's all you, you need, need to know. know. Yes. Okay, give me the hundred ore nuggets. I'll get the thing. Here you go. Come straight back to me. So, you can mess it up by giving him the money back. You can mess it up by not buying the sword. And you can mess it up while talking with Fisk. So, better not mess it up. Hey, you! Have you got armor for me as well? Well, I'm sure that I can satisfy you. Yeah, those are very expensive. We can get a free light tigger's trousers, but we have to go way like back in the sword, old new camp. We will do that anyway, like so you guys can see it. Ornamental. I have one you like. The shadow who wanted to collect it won't be coming anymore. That'll be 110 ore. Interested? So you can mess it up now? By saying yes, I'll take it, you will have to pay extra 10 ore, not a big problem, but here you can mess it up if you mention it. So maybe we say later. maybe later. We go now to Whistler and tell him he will be a bit pissed off, but it will not matter. We need a ore because we are not going to beat any, hey, you. Uh, any merchants to get their inventory, their money and stuff. Fisk wants 110 ore for his sword now. And you want me to give you the 10 ore now? Well, I of course. I wanted to have that sword. Here, take it. And now hurry. Uh, yep. Is that guy Jackal? We will have to talk with Jackal before he eats. Yep, it's Jackal. Ah, new face. What do you want? I want to offer you help. You're new here and the new ones always get into trouble. You could save yourself a lot by making a small donation. Just ten ore, man. It ain't much to ask. And what do I get out of it? While you're in my district, I'll protect you. If you get into any trouble with the guys from the new camp, or if one of the sect loonies gets on your nerves, you can count on me. If you have bother with one of the diggers, We'll help whichever one of you has paid. It's as simple as that. And what if both have paid? Then we sit back and watch the show, but that don't happen too often. I'm not listening to all that slathering anymore. What if I don't pay? He's a cool guy. Hey man, don't stress yourself. You're a newcomer. Take a look around. Collect a bit of ore and when you're ready to pay, then pay. You can do it anytime, but don't count on my help until you've made your contribution to my expenses. I'm sure you'll understand. Maybe some people never learn. I'll see you later. Just you take care of yourself. He's a cool guy. Probably he's he can help us if we want to kill more drag. If we do that, we get another quest with Fisk to get him a new fence and stuff. But in this version, I believe fighting NPCs, especially at the beginning of the game, is quite hard because of the way the fight goes. And which is the right path? The path of the sleeper. He alone has the power to set us free. The gurus are preparing a great invocation in our camp. They want to get in contact with the sleeper. So far, he's just talked to us in visions. But now, it's time to get in touch with him. 
We'll need as many supporters as possible for that. By focusing our spiritual power, we'll get through to him. Our camp is some distance away, in the swamp. I can take you there, though, if you want. What would be the benefit of joining you? Maybe we'll you're one Mich of the Bar chosen Parvis people after we who received the, the gift of magic from the sleeper. Or you might obtain the highest honors and become a Templar. Only the, the best Templars fighters are among us good. can obtain that position. If the sleeper is with you, you can even combine both. The best of the Templars receive the gift of magic as well. You see, our brotherhood has a lot of possibilities for you. You should be aware of that before you decide on joining any other camp. Yeah, so the, the Brotherhood is the only faction that you can join from the beginning to the end without changing much stuff. But it's not really worth it. Wait a second. Who's the sleeper? The sleeper speaks to us through dreams and visions. He has been leading us ever since he first made contact with Iberian five years ago. All the followers of the Brotherhood have renounced the I three just gods. My juice, so we pray only we'll to have the to pause a bit. <laughs> for salvation. Salvation from what? From this goddamn place, of course. The sleeper will show us the way to freedom. So wait a second, sorry. I'm back, sorry. Made a huge mess with a cola built all over my keyboard. But we are back in business, so let's go. What did the sleeper tell you? He guided us to the swamp, to the old temple ruins. That's where we built our camp. He gave us independence. None of us need to labor in the mines. He showed us what swamp weed can do. We sell it to the other camps, and in exchange, we get everything we need. And he gave some of us the gift of magic of an old and powerful magic which is different from the one the magicians of the realm use. Tell me about the magic of the sleeper. This gift enables you to control things with the power of your mind. Only the gurus of our brotherhood have been initiated into the secrets of this magic. I like the weapon of the digger. <laughs> Such a branch. So we are not going to go there yet to the old camp. Uh, not to the, to the sex camp, sorry. This is a digger, digger, so there is a guy that we have to talk up here. It will give us a quest also. Dusty. Hey you! Mr. Boshi. Hi, I'm new here. How's things? Go away. I've been working my ass off in the mines for the last two weeks. And what for? Some sad lumps of ore is all I got. I had to spend most of it on food. I talked to Ball Parvis down there. He told me some interesting things about the sect camp. I think I'd better go there instead of slaving away for Gomez. You don't like it here? Why don't you just go then? Because I'm not quite sure what to expect there. I had a pal here. His name was Melvin. He headed off to the sect camp a week ago. But since then, I haven't heard of them. And as long as I don't get a message from him, I stay here. Yep. And we have to talk with one of the guards also. This is Jackal, right? Yeah, we did talk with him. We have to talk with Bloodwin. He starts a quest for us. With one of the... Oh, with Herrick. And how's things? There ain't enough room in this camp for the two of us. Pardon me? If it was up to me, you wouldn't last out here for long. Do you know why I'm here? I killed a dozen people in one night. Just like that. <laughs> you are fun at parties. So where is Bloodwain? Oh. How often have I told you bastards not to run through my hut? The spider web looks so nice above his head. You better clean your house, dude. What's your problem? Leave me alone, man. Everyone's a problem with me. It all started when I built my hut. Don't build your hut close to the ditch, they said. But none of these bastards told me what would happen if I still did it. When I came back from the mine a few days ago, I had a second door. Those pigs, I hate them. 
I can't tell you how much I hate him. Now everybody runs through my hut. Every idiot. Damn it. What's your problem? Leave me alone, man. Everyone's a problem with me. It all started when I don't be but none of when I oh. go now. Yeah, you'll have to live with it. So now Ah, there is Bloodwind. We can uh, learn New here, are you? I don't know your face. We did I'm talk sly. with you, didn't we? I have a job on offer for Yeah, we did talk to you. What yeah if What if if I'll if you where will I find his Yeah. Probably there are some couple bugs in this version. It's expected, but still, we will enjoy it. The grass looks so hey, awesome. Yo, are you talking to me? No. Nope. I'm warning you. People like you can get into trouble awfully quick round here. And most of the guys they chuck in here are bastards. They think they can do what they like to you, but we won't allow that. Gomez wants some peace in the camp, and we guards make sure he gets it. But it's a job that doesn't come cheap. That's why I'm asking you for some ore. Look on it as a kind of token of friendship. You help us, and we'll help you. If you get in trouble, we'll be there for you. Is that a threat? On the contrary, it's an offer of friendship. You mean you want me to pay protection money? No thanks. I can take care of myself. Have it your own way, kid. You'll soon regret turning down a friendly offer. See ya. Take care of yourself, kid. And that's how we start a quest chain with him. We need a Diego. Hey, you! Should we learn dexterity war one hand? Take care. Ah, uh, that's hey, how. you! Aren't you the guy who wants to join the camp? What if I am? I could help you. And how? There are two guys sitting around outside the camp. One of them has stolen something from the ore barons. It's a precious amulet, which should have arrived with the last convoy. One of them should still be in possession of the amulet. If we attack them together, we should manage. I couldn't do it on my own. Why do you say? What will happen when we have the amulet? We are too weak for this, I believe. I'll return it and get the reward. I'll tell them you help me. Then you'll be in Gomez's good books for sure. No, it's either 50-50 or you can do it on your own. Okay, okay, 50-50. I suppose it'll be enough for the two of us anyway. So, can I count on you? I don't know. Count me in. All right, just tell me when we can start. Ah, okay, that's good, because I wasn't really ready to go and fight three NPCs. We know what that guy is up to. Hey, you. That was lucky. We have to talk with the guy. How are you doing? Well, since I stopped working in the mine, I can't really complain. Grab and where do you get your ore from? I help people who have problems. If you get into trouble with influential people here, I can help you sort the thing out. Could you tell me which of the shadows belongs to the influential people here? You ought to impress the right people, do you? Diego has the most power of all the shadows. He trusts Fingers, Whistler, and Sly. Three of Dexter them. and Fisk sell their stuff on the market Five. square. They have many customers, even the guards. And that makes them rather influential. And then there's Scatty. He's Six in charge of the people. arena and determines who fights and all that. Many people here owe him ore. He's important as well. If I was in trouble, you could help me? How? Well, let's assume you're in trouble with Thoris. You better never get into trouble with him, but then well, you never know. Thoris can be quite stubborn. When he's pissed off with you once, he'll never talk to you again. And that's a bad thing. As a greenhorn, you depend on him. So you come to see me. I know a lot of people here Thoris listens to. They put in a good word for you, and Thoris is your friend again. 
Hollywood. Of course, the boys want to see some more from these kind of favors. Your or. And I take care that your or gets to the right people. Yeah, that's never a thing. So, can we cook? Occupied. Oh, the guy is going there, okay. So, we are going to learn... No, we didn't give the sword. Ooh. Good that we looked at it. We have to level up and then... I believe one-handed is better to learn than, dexter than strength. Because we fight like peasants. There is also a guy that wants to fight us. The Derek guy, I believe, or Herek. The one that we talk with him up there. Hey, you! We will do that after we learn one hand. Wait a minute, we didn't buy. Oh, he gave us the money, but we didn't talk with Fisk. We are qu quite sloppy. Hey, you! I'd like to buy a sword, but not just. I have one, you. That. Yes, I'll take it. You got a good deal here. How good is the sword? Yeah, it's quite good. But we need 15 strength. Does it say strength or dexterity? Strength required, but they name it power. Probably just a translation problem. We didn't get a 10 ore from him. Did we? We did, but what? Never mind. I have your sword. Wasn't too hard, was it? Whatever. You do me a favor, and I'll do you one. If Diego should ask after you, I'll speak in your favor. Until then, have a good time. Yes, we level up now. So we learn one hand. I wouldn't like to be in his shoes. Do we have money? Yeah, we have one. 173 or oh, I so miss the sprinting mod probably for this is there are no mods that can be used but it's okay we so need to run faster run forest run we have to go to scatty and learn oh we have to get far away from mud We did talk with this guy, didn't we? Huh? Did it reset? I want to be so. I'm yeah, we did talk with him. Yeah, the, those things cost a lot. We are not ready to do that. We will do it once we are ready to join. First, we need the scatty. Hey, you! Hey, which did they reset or what? I but the, I want to die. We we talked with him last time, so we know what he says. One hand, that okay. I want to win. That's a good decision. Before you can improve your technique, you'll have to learn how to hold the weapon right. Beginners often tend to hold one-handed weapons with both hands. Like now, us? Don't even start getting into that habit. It'll do you no good. Hold the weapon with one hand, blade up, and keep swinging. You have to learn to harmonize your weapon's swing with your own movements. That'll make you faster in the attack. If you keep in mind what I've taught you, your fights will be more elegant and a lot faster in future. Oh yeah, one more thing. Some hits cause more damage than others. As a beginner, you don't stand much of a chance making critical hits. But the further you progress, the better you get. I like the way they teach us. Like, you know, it's not like, okay, you learned it. It's actually, you have to do that, you have to do that. Yes. Put the weapon down. Sorry. So now we have the option to go with a guy with more track. But I would like to do first yeah, getting the level up or closer to level up. So we'll get the neck and the uh, hell mushrooms. 
the guy sits behind his head. Hey, you! He's a robot. I don't rubber. think I've seen you here before. No wonder. I've only just got here. Then watch out. The outside world is pretty dangerous. You're only safe inside a camp. So one-handed, it's 30% fighting skill, not anymore 5% it used to be. But that's good, so we have two scavengers to fight against. Yeah, looks nice the way he's walking. Okay, the aggro range, wow. It got decreased so much, or is it because of the engine that they look closer? Okay. I like it. So this looks like a very good improvement. Yes. There is no way we can fight that Waran. Let's check it, but I do not think we can kill not the Waran lizard. Waran is in the No, we do no damage. Okay. Do they have stats? How many times we died? We killed? No, nope. nothing like swords. We will need to learn, I believe, collecting of the... Oh, there are the mushrooms. A uh, trophy. To collect the trophies from the enemies. Might be a good idea. Oh, this looks so dark and so beautiful. I so enjoy it. And the mole rats, their tails wiggle. Okay, you did it one, two times, okay. Yeah, we are good now, we are good to go. So we will need some dexterity, uh, some strength after. And then level two will be much, much better. But for that we need two level ups. And we need trophies, so I don't know what we should do. I believe the trophy learning would be also great to not waste any any enemies we will need money because we are not going to use any exploits so oh boy this looks so nice the entrance now it looks a bit hidden before it was so okay so obvious that there was a cave how did a guard not even a shadow guard get killed from the three mole rats. We kill them with no problem, but the guy, the guard, simply died. This is weird. Or someone killed him and dragged him here. This is the dead guard. Amulet of the dead guard. So we have an option, which I believe is better to hold on it use it for us and once we come to the camp we can give it to the to the guy and tell him oh, look here we got a the item that you needed yeah i believe that's a better way we do that once we are ready to join the old camp as i said we want to join the old camp so that means we have to level up before we go to the new camp and learn from the hunters there the hunting skills because, as I said, I don't want to waste any enemies. There is a wolf on the way to the new camp. And we want to take their fur and their claws and teeth, I believe. Yeah, do we have even that much money? No, we don't really have. But we will get... Oh, look at this. Also one-handed. We get better and better. I like the hard beginning. The gothic one is really hard. Everyone can trash us. So we will have to level up. We are not far away from leveling up, so... Probably we will kill what we find here. What is here? Okay. The lizards, we deal no damage, so they didn't change the camp, the fighting system. In Gothic 2, you will deal minimum damage no matter what, but here, if the damage is weaker than the armor, then we deal nothing. Free experience. Ooh, the lizard is so close. Lizard, go away. 
Yeah, the aggro range is so weird. But we cannot complain. Yeah, by the time we get to the to the new camp guys over the river, the Drex and Redford, we will be level up. Yeah, fighting is good. So you have to time your hits, otherwise you get a penalty. Ooh, the blood flies, we cannot kill them for sure, and they they have the wings and something else we can teach, uh, learn from them, so not now. And here is the guy that wants us to go with him and kill those guys here, but not yet. Nah, not yet. Oh, there is one that we will do when we go the other side, because in the cave there are some mole rats we have to kill. And on the other side, there are three or four scavengers next to the guys. Hopefully we can get them without them stealing our experience. As I said, I hate losing the experience. This looks so beautiful. The f running with the weapon looks weird. It's like we are holding a spade. I so wish the health would be still up in the middle of the screen but upper side not lower side oh there is also a scavenger we kind of crit because 30 percent that's quite high percentage of is, is it a crit okay i believe he's roaring at us Come little guy, come. The nice thing is you don't really have to have him in the aim. In the normal you can aim at the... At the air and do not hit them. But here even if you don't have them in focus and you hit and they are on, on the way of the weapon you will manage to connect the hit. Yeah, I believe those are crit. Crit chances 30, it's a lot. We have to remember that Gothic 1 is really easy. It's not made for... To be hard, it's just to enjoy the atmosphere. The Gothic 2 is where the things get very nasty. I'm curious if they are going to release a Gothic 2 Unreal Engine like this one. Hands down for the guys that create it looks perfect I so enjoy it this is while we wait for the remake I yeah, don't look like don't think we are going to lose the experience normally in the normal go game the guards aggro them come little guy oh I'm curious about the bow is it free aim? There is another one there. But we have to be careful about the wolves. Yeah, we we cut your legs. Ah, okay, we are going to go behind the... Behind this. Ooh, there is a mole rat. Can we kill you? Okay, you are not connecting, level up. I heard some sort of weapons. But I believe we, I'm, I'm mistaken. We could also grab the scavengers. Two level ups wouldn't be hard. I mean, wouldn't be bad. There is a mole rat. Nice. Only the wolf, we have to be careful if there are wolves. I forgot what is here. 
Okay, because of the the necklace that we have, you can see they barely hit us now. Ooh, two of them. Two levels up wouldn't be bad. Come, little guy. Nice. The battle uh, music goes on and off so fast. Quick loot would be also nice. I miss those things, those quality of life thingies. We will level up, I believe, once we get into the old camp. I mean the new camp, sorry. I keep mixing them up. What are there? Scavengers, lots of them. Four here and three down there. Remember to lure them, no need to take extra damage. We have to cook our food also. Come on, little guy. Oh, we do AOE damage. Okay, this is also a thing now. Actually, that's very nice once we get stronger. The AoE, that's a good addition. That's why we managed to, to hit the guys from... without connecting the hits. Oh, can we lure them to not get... Yes, AoE. Oh boy. Those were juvenile. Normally they are big ones. This was perfect. Didn't expect it. People always talk, as as People always talk I know. Hey, you! So we are going what to else learn hunting about also. Hunting? We are quite good at the game, but so. It'll cost you more than a beer. If you at least. So what can we take? The reptile skins? We don't need the fur we need. How can I skin these creatures? It's very important to skin them from the back to the front. Once you get the hang of it, it'll be easy. Furs are very valuable. The furs of wolves and shadow beasts can be used to make clothes. When you examine the fur of a kill animal, actually craft clothes? you'll soon notice if it can be used or not. Claws and teeth. Show me how to take off the claws. I want to see some ore first. Like I said, we need money, okay. We need 100 ore. Okay. Okay, we are going to do that. But I, I think we are going to kill those. And then go to the old camp again. Oh, we kill both of them. Yeah, we need to make some money inside and we are going to see if we can steal something, pickpocket them. Because before we go to the old, to the new camp, we need to skin the wolf and take their teeth. Probably we will fight with the guy inside, get his money, his stuff. So yes, I think I'm going to make a cut here, guys. Thank you very much for joining me. I'll see you in the next episode where we are going to prepare ourselves to go to the new camp finally. So be cool and bye bye.